Hey everybody, it's a loyal gamer welcoming everyone back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we pretty much uh, began this level and uh, and stuffs. <clears throat> ah, that's where I heard the life. Okay, I heard a life, but I failed to a half one myself. Which is why I do Let's Plays. Look at the birdie. Don't. Oh. So much memeage going around. Do I missed? Ooh, that sucks to be him. <clears throat> All right, so we'll have to go around this way. Look at the birdie. Look at the birdie. Oh. D they could have like hit like something worthy back there, but I guess not. <clears throat> okay, um... Yeah, this, uh, this is pretty easy right here. All you gotta do is just... Oh, now they have the filler music, because I've been here for too long. Thanks, game, for telling me that I suck at, you know... Doing the speed thing. <clears throat> Alright, then we'll go just go over here. Oh, sometimes that knife can knock you right off. We got a life! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> oh man. I haven't eaten all day. I should probably go ahead and eat something. <clears throat> Alright, now these things. You gotta be careful with these things, because if you stand right next to them like this and set them on fire, they can actually hurt you. So you have to, like, go away from them a bit and then let them explode. Here, all you do is simply glide. There we go! We got the key to lots of gems. <clears throat> Alright, 400, 400. I think that's 100% uh, of the level there. Okay. Yeah, let me check my inventory. We always have to check our inventory, right? 400, 400, 4 out of 4. There you have it. Simple as pie. Oh, thank God this level's over. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, better ones coming up pretty quick. Oh, wait a minute. The second level is an icy cavern. Uh, the second level's Cliff Town, I think. Ugh. Yeah, it is. My mistake. We're doing Cliff Town, guys. Uh, mm. <clears throat> Alright, this is another one of those memorable levels, I say, because it's a lot of flying and crap. Which is something that I don't really like to do, especially in... I don't know, it's just the way this level is designed. You have to like go everywhere like a million times and crap and stuff and it's just bleh. And then you have like these masqueraders or whatever, marauders, with the flame proof capes. <clears throat> and then you have these random dudes with a paintbrush. <laughs> and you have to make sure you have to uh, toast the pots here. Because sometimes they have uh, gems in them, so you really want to watch out for that. Alright, and, like I said before, you have to watch out for uh, gems being hidden around in the starting area. And, uh, believe it or not, there's actually an area back there where there's a few gems hidden. So this level can actually be kind of a bitch if you're uh, not careful about that. Oh! So this, they kind of sound like uh, the dudes in Dry Canyon. Look, there's a goop waterfall. Goop! Goop! There's a gloop waterfall. Okay, so... 
the easiest way to do it is to make sure you get all the reachable platforms while you're still like able to do it. Like right now you're not able to reach the top ones yet. Don't worry about it because you're going to be able to access them a little later. Yeah, you have uh, random iguanas running around. I think they're iguanas. <clears throat> if not, then they're something. Ah, crap. I forgot those ru ru uh, gems right there. I keep calling them rupees for some reason. Oh, that was a fail charge. And we got this. Whoop, oh, oh. whoop. Egg thief. Egg thief. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Gotcha. There we go. We got our fourth egg. Alright, now with this thing up here, uh, pretty simple, I guess. All you have to do is just set this on fire, and then that will blow up a chest over there. Oh, you missed. And we have a life! There we go. I don't think I've died a single time yet. That will soon change, I'm sure, but... Don't want to push our luck too hard now. Oh, look, we got these gems over here. These gems. Shinies. Shiny, 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 shiny. Oh, missed one. Alright. Ow! When your head rams a wall, you must ram it. When you're getting ready to fall, you must ram it. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? You don't! Remember, Spyro. Flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Do 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 do. All right, now this part's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just walk up here. Seriously, what are they doing? Like, I don't even know what they're doing. They're making like soup or something. Simple. Alright, now just walk up here, because every time I charge up here, I fall into the gloop, and I die. Just like that guy did. You don't want to be like that guy that just fell in. <laughs> I slapped his ass. No. Alright, here another dragon, but we'll- Whoa, we'll get you soon enough. Don't fall in those pots, too, because they hurt like hell. Apparently. All right, and then you just got two of these guys. What? Ow! Apparently their slapping doesn't even hurt me, but oh well. Oh, are they making... I don't, I don't even know. Let's just rescue this dragon. We have Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide That's a river? find out? Okay, well, uh, Insomniac had a very interesting concept of a river. I don't even know. Okay. Oh, I almost <laughs> went on the platform there. Holy crap. And I almost did that again. Alright, and the nice thing about it is that we have a little swirly thing. <sighs> Alright, well, let's glide across this so-called river. And we have birdies everywhere. Look at the birdie. Now, for some reason, all of these birds, like, they fly at you, but they just kind of aim the wrong way. Like, they fly at you at angles, and it's really weird. Plus, we have the return of the force field. Just, again, I guess that's alright. What? You're trying to fake me out here. Well, we'll just breathe one of these nasty-looking iguanas, I'm sure. <laughs> I like the way how they burn up. That's charming. All 
All right, now you got to be careful with uh, pick up gems here in this white space. All right, we got that birdie. I'm gonna charge this one. There we go. We have gems everywhere in this level. It's crazy. Okay, so we have another dragon. We rescued Marco. Marco Polo. You reached the highest point in Cliff Town. That's nice. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind. Are you a there. good fella? Right there. Uh, something about the accent. That's kind of like. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's no other gems here. No other gems. All right. <clears throat> and we have another swirly thing over there. But we have to glide all the way back over here, where we can find more gems. Even more gems. Oh, look at that, 25. That's crazy. <clears throat> Alright, so we basically have to fall off, get back on, fall off, get back on. Yeah, basically you have to repeat this process, like, a few times. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Because you gotta get these chests over here. Yeah, make sure you just land right over here. If you try to get these chests, the way they're placed, they're just gonna knock you off. So... Okay. Then we just have those chests over there. Looks like we have only 20 more co uh, not coins, but... Uh, gems left to go. <clears throat> so I think we should be done after these two. Yep, gold and gold, 100%. There we go. 400 out of 400, 3 out of 3. Cliff Town is completed. And as usual, I'll just, you know what? I'll just exit the level. <laughs> <clears throat> 2,000 gems! How awesome is that? Okay, so, uh, hmm. I wonder if we're able just to go into the next world right now. That would be pretty funny. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop before for magic crafters if you're ready. Wow, we can already go to the next world if we wanted to. Crap. We're not even, like, nearly done with this level. Alright, so, in the next episode, we shall pretty much go into the Ice Cavern, and we shall pretty much 100% that level as well, and it's a very fun and entertaining level, if I do say so myself. This is a Loyal Gamer, signing off, and I will see you guys next time. Later, people.